They were conceived with a simple mission, to torpedo an enemy shipping and turn his cities into nuclear funeral pyres. Now, near Murmansk in northern Russia, they rot and rust like dinosaur skeletons on the beach. Their nuclear fuel still aboard, ironically a menace no longer to those rival NATO navies, but rather to their own helpless citizens. Tethered to their final resting place are the cadavers of almost 100 decommissioned Russian nuclear submarines, their reactors cracked, their hulls eroding. It's a floating Chernobyl. It's a real floating Chernobyl. We have to understand this. It's a real floating Chernobyl. I told the truth about the condition of our nuclear safety. I was on one side, and on the other was this entire machine of the state prepared to gobble up one little man. That one little man is Alexander Nikitin. He has become his country's biggest whistleblower. 